Shalom and thank you for joining us for another series on Living Supernaturally. We have been two days into this episode of The One Another Commands, where we're looking at different commands where the One Another instructions are given. And today for our meditation, we are going to focus on be submissive to one another. Let's read from scripture from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Now the word submission often brings many questions and raises many eyebrows. At first glance, it may be difficult to submit because it probably appears that one is greater than the other to submit or because it makes the other person feel vulnerable, it makes them feel weak, subjugated or also it makes them think that they are a pushover. In scripture, to submit to one another is not based on the merits of another person. Believers aren't to submit to one another because others deserve it, but they are to submit to one another because they hold Christ in utmost reverence. To submit to one another is literally to align oneself below others in rank and which means to perceive yourself as lesser in rank for the benefit of the other. We see the example of the Lord Jesus Christ where he lowered himself to become a man, to die a death that was gruesome and to give life to those who believe in him. We see that he submitted himself to the will of God to do what God wanted him to do. In the same way, because of what Christ did for us, we also submit to one another because we value the lives of others. That means to be willingly give up things for others and to regard others as more important than yourself. The idea that we need to submit to one another is the most important principle that undergirds every relationship that you and I have. And in fact, Paul gives this instruction for various societal and familial uh, roles, all based on this principle. And so let's just look at a few. It says, wives are to submit to their husbands to illustrate the way the church submits to Christ. Husbands are to align themselves by loving their wives selflessly to illustrate Jesus' love for the church. Children ought to align themselves under their parents in honor and obedience. Fathers need to align themselves under their children so that they don't provoke them, but rather bring them up in the training and the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves should align themselves under their masters with sincere obedience, and masters should submit to their slaves by treating their slaves with respect and fear and sincerity of heart. So it is evident that all people are equal in Christ. And even in these familial and, familial and societal roles, where there may be rank or hierarchy, each person ought to submit to one another as if they were of lower rank. So wherever you are today, whatever role you play, help yourself to know that a relationship is built as you submit to one another because you bring glory to God uh, for doing so. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us that our submission to one another brings you glory, brings you, Lord, reverence, Father. Lord, whatever role we play, 
whichever relationship we are in teach us to treat others with greater value with to see others of a higher rank and hierarchy thank you that you help us to do so in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org